What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be talking about how to spike on the right side as a right-hander. And this video was suggested by supporter Yuka, so thank you so much for this video suggestion. Before watching this video, make sure that you watch the right side hitter footwork first. You can have the most powerful and effective arm swing in the world on the right side, but if you do not have consistent and effective footwork, you won't even be able to use your arm swing. And you can watch that video by clicking on the video links in the description below or click on the video link up here. The next effective technique that you need to have down as well is having a technical and simple arm swing. And you can watch the video about arm swing mechanics by clicking on the links in the video description below or you can click on the link up here. Assuming that you have very effective and consistent spiking footwork and you have great arm swing mechanics, now we'll talk about how to position your body and to be an effective right side hitter. The main difference when you're hitting on the left side compared to the right side is as a left side or outside attacker, the ball is being set directly to my hitting shoulder. So you can swing as soon as the ball reaches your body. The challenge about hitting on the right side as a right hander is that I have to wait for the ball to cross my body to reach my hitting shoulder before I spike it. So you need to wait a split second longer before you start your arm swing, which also means that you need to swing a little bit faster before the ball passes your hitting window. Another difference between hitting on the left side and the right side is that as a right hander on the left side, I need to open up and face the setter so I can rotate into the court. On the right side, I need to face the net and maybe open up a little bit for power, but mostly I should be square to the net where I'm facing to the net. Because if I don't rotate, I'm going to swing straight ahead. And if I do rotate, I'll be rotating into the court. If I open up too much on the right side, I'm going to be facing outside the antenna and I'm going to be hitting out. And it's going to be hard to time the ball because the ball is going over my left shoulder and I cannot see it. If you try to position your body in the same way as the left side, the ball is going to peak at your left shoulder and then start to die down on your right shoulder so you end up swinging low. Another way to help you position your body correctly while hitting on the right side is try to step inside the set so when the ball crosses over on your hitting shoulder you want to reach at your highest point. Here are a couple good drills you can do on your own to practice your right side attack. The first one is to practice your arm swing on the floor without the ball to get used to the motion and to practice swinging line, straight ahead to area six, deep corner, and then sharp angle, which are four of the most effective spiking areas on the court. The next drill is to toss the ball to yourself and to make sure that you're contacting it over your right hitting shoulder and that I'm starting square to the net and I'm not opening too much. Remember that you can open up a little bit for power, but if you open up too much, it's going to be hard to aim into the court. In general, wherever you point your middle finger and follow through toward, that is where the ball will go. If I want to hit line as a right side hitter, I'm going to contact the ball on the top left corner of the ball and follow through slightly away from my body. If I want to hit straight ahead to area 6, I'm going to contact directly behind in the middle of the ball and follow through and point to area 6. If I want to hit to the deep corner in area 1, I'm going to contact the ball on the top right corner and follow through to that area. If I want to hit sharp angle to area 2 or the 1-2 seam, I'm going to contact on the top right corner and slightly on the side so I can really go sharp and go all the way across my body. And make sure you rotate your body for power. Even if I'm hitting line, I'm going to rotate and then point away from my body.
Here are some game situations you can take a look at that exemplify great spiking footwork, good arm swing mechanics, and also hitting different places as a right side hitter, hitting line, straight ahead, deep corner, and sharp angle. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure that you like this video and share it with all your friends and volleyball teammates. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for weekly instructional videos as well as weekly volleyball highlight videos. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.